Oh yeah. Now there's nothing quite like warming up to a campfire. But have you guys ever tried warming up to a flaming boulder? That's right. I didn't think so. Hey there everybody, welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. This is Spiraling Helix. In the last episode, we made our way through Fire Canyon to this place right here. <laughs> With a crying dude, because this is Rock Village, so called, not because of the fact that it's made around rocks. No, more because that guy up there is raining down giant rocks. Anyway though, in this episode, I'm gonna talk to this guy before we head off to our main destination. Ah, oh, no, not another hero. I lost my short on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way you pretty much tap me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time, racy Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. Sure thing, dude. In fact, I like you so much with your... interesting set of clothes that I'm gonna give you some power or... Blah, 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 precursor orbs right now. These orbs to help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell, I promise. Yeah! And we look so happy next to that guy in the background. Oh my goodness. Anyway, though, we now have so many goals for the precursor base, and I mean, already got three power cells that people want on top of the scout flies that we know are going to be in there. So let's go right away and jump uh, jump on this little guy. No, wrong game. The other Zuma from, you know, this game. Ah, that's better. Anyway, here we are. Oh, well, that's not an enemy. These are the lightning moles that that re researcher wanted us to herd over into this place here. You do have to actually be close to them when you do actually... I mean, when they... Bleh, words! When they run over the... Okay, that one's long gone. Let's deal with this one. When they run over that weird dirt hole sand pit thing, if you're close enough to them, they will just jump right in. However, if they run over it and you're nowhere near them, they're not gonna jump in. Um, can you please run around? There we go. No, what are you doing? What are you do- No, stop! Oh my goodness. Anyway, I don't know what... Why on earth are you called lightning moles? You look nothing like moles. And you're not shooting any lightning off. So... Please tell me why. Thank you. Anyway, just this one left, I believe. Please let it be this one left. And you're going right in there. And... Woo! It's, no! 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 And that's actually one of the few cases where a geo- Wow, are you just gonna go in a circle? <laughs> I was so confusing. Where the ge- Geologists? Geologists don't care about animals. They care about rocks. That's a weird person. Anyway, you did not get confused. I did not get hurt there. In fact, I did damage to the thing. I was already on one health. There are many- Back on this little guy we go then. As I was trying to say though, these weird flying lurkers that look like they're wearing diapers in all honesty. They, like they're all around this place, killing them all will net you another power cell. Just like doing absolutely everything in this game does. 
However, I highly recommend that you do hop into them when you get close and boom! Nice. I think that's actually... I usually don't deal with those lurkers that quickly, so I'm just gonna grab the power cells around here. And there's that race course, actually, that the guy in the barrel wanted us to do. Gotta get this scout fly. Thank you. And I believe it's just these orbs here. And those orbs... Those orbs on the right do actually, like, I think they will be in our path. As we race through these pink... I'm gonna call these pink. I have my TV set to different colors, so I'm gonna call these pink. These pink rings... I have a feeling the game is going to call them purple, but no, no, those dark eco plants are purple. These rings are pink. Anyway, running through all the rings in succession will net you a power cell. What? Sometimes it's hard to tell where the rings are going. And oh, how did I get that one? I wasn't even in the ring. But oh, no, I'll take it. I'll take it. No complaints here. No complaints. On top of that, they are simply... Oh, I thought the ring was going off to the left there. They are simply timed. No other thing. Just if you miss one like that one, you're not going to get back up there in time. All over the place, though. Oh, you're taking me up here. Um, okay. Oh, no, that's the end. That's the last one. And we get a bouncy power cell for that. And nice, got the thing. And power cell, please. Yeah! That was so hard to grab. Okay, there is another set of ring challenges left, but right now this is probably the hardest like us, so I'm just gonna focus on this guy. And I got him! I got him! Oh, thank goodness. By the way, if you are having trouble, it's not a bad strategy to turn around and go the other way. However, in saying that, when you do that, sometimes you... Like, it will turn around very fast. And what? You're going down? Also, clearly, with that one going through... Where, where do you go? Where do you go? There you are. With that one going down through there, obviously, probably not even possible to go the other way with this one because he'll if you go the other way he'll go up through this hole which is you know gonna be a bit tough to catch thankfully you can cut a lot of this corner off and boom with that that's every lurker so we get a power cell like doing absolutely everything in this game gives us good flying those lurkers were no match for your zoomer that's one more power cell. Yeah! And here, there is actually a green eco vent to prevent us from dying, which is very nice. But, you know, it's mainly here so that we can take out these dark e- I'm gonna need a refill. These dark eco plants, which do come up quite quickly, as you can see. And I'm doing a very bad job of this. As long as you can get the ones around the outsides of the rocks pretty easily. I'm, I'm stuck. Oh my goodness, that was annoying. If you can get the ones on the outsides of the rocks, then you're pretty good to go. Like, they'll only grow up next to the ones that are already up and existing. And my goodness, they are getting out of control here. Oh, no, wait, this is it. I've got this. I got this. Here we go. Last one! Yeah! And give me that power cell, please. I kind of want you. Yeah! But yeah, I just love seeing green eco vents and getting that full heal. But then maybe it's just because I've got low expectations. Okay, your moment of gloating is over. Get on with it! Wow, Samos is never nice to me. Ever. Or maybe it's never nice to... Daxter. 
I can never really tell. Anyway though, let's head up here and collect a few more things. All I can think of now is the other ring challenge. The scout flies and then that race for the barrel guy. There's the other ring by the way, just down- oh, I'm gonna get the scout fly first, just there. Although I think I'll save that for a little bit. And I want to go up here first. Now strangely enough, as this might sound, like, you saw that dark eco box there, right? It might actually- oh, I missed that. I, I'll have another chance. What? What? I already have all seven scout flies? Okay. Anyway though, strangely enough as this might sound, it's actually not a bad idea to deliberately run into a few dark eco boxes. As long as you keep going back to that green eco vent down there, they actually stay out of your way for when you're doing those ring challenges. Which is a lot more helpful than you would think. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab this orb. Wait. I didn't mean to fall. Oh wait, no. I missed I missed a hard crate. Right, it's okay. Ring challenge, let's go. Okay. And jump! This one can be quite hard. So hopefully I don't mess it up. Now the reason why I say it's hard is simply because it's hard to know where the rings are going to go. Like, that's it. I really struggle to know where the rings are going. By the way, you can jump off that rock there. Also, sometimes you don't need to hit the jump buttons, but if something's ever, like, elevated a fair bit off the ground and there isn't a ramp like that, for, like, per se. By the way, that is, like, the worst jump ever. Sometimes it jumps you to the ring, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah. And, oh, are you seriously avoiding the precursor orbs there? Come on! It can be hard to tell where these rings are going, and I struggle with it. You're going... So, see, I wouldn't... I would, did not think it would go, though. I thought it would go right. Okay, this bit's particularly annoying. Like, you could easily not see that one there. And then you're going... See, look! Look at that U-turn! What on earth is going on? I believe this one's going left, by the way. Yeah. And now it's pretty easy to follow them. It's worse. As long as you stay up here, you won't miss any. And please don't miss any. <laughs> I've come this far. I can't go back now. And Bowser! Yeah! I'm gonna get through one episode without calling a power cell a precursor orb and without calling a precursor orb a power cell one of these episodes anyway though with that there's just a couple things left to get so I will quickly do them You know what I just realised? When you're going at a fairly low speed, this fan that's on the zoom, it looks like it's a whole bunch of spoons spinning real fast. Like they don't- I jumped again. They don't look like propellers to me. Like they look like spoons with stripes down the middle or something. I hope I didn't put that image in your face. Actually what am I saying? I kind of do. But yeah. I'm never going to see the zoomer with propellers anymore. It's going to be spoons. Now, can I please not mess up the jumps this time? And get the precursor orbs. Thank you. Um, um, uh, maybe there's some in the race. I really hope there's some in this race. And let's do our best to go through this race now then. Off to a great start, getting stuck on a pillar. 
Anyway, again, Blue Eco with the Zuma. If you don't hit anything and don't let go, then you will keep a speed up. And for the most part, if you don't go head on into anything, you will keep a speed up. Sadly, though, you will have to lose it here as you do a U turn. But speed up is very nice. Makes you go faster. Oh my goodness, I'm getting close to the time. Please make it, please make it, please make it, please make it. Yes! We beat the record time. Now I'm gonna spend forever looking for how many orbs is it? Five orbs. That just seems like a metal crate. I can deal with that. No, never mind, they are right here. And with that, the return to the geologist and the gambler. And that is it. That's... I... That's the precursor basin. Sweet. That took way longer than it should have. But I did it. After going in circles and bonking around. Now for those... For helping those lightning moles. Still don't think they look like lightning moles. But oh well. Thank you for saving those moles, that's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. Yeah! Speaking of your research, I believe you wanted 90 precursor orbs? Um, right. There you are. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. And I'm actually kind of glad they don't draw out that text. Because you give 90 orbs to everybody. Anyway, it's 120 precursor orbs for each power cell from that guy. So I won't do them yet. But I believe the gambler still owes us a little something. Let's see. Let's get our payment off him. Oh, great moves, kid. I knew that time record would fall. Now here's your power cell. And I can go collect my big payoff. Yeah. And with that, we already have enough pre- Sorry, power cells to actually go fight that thing up there. Funnily enough, I believe we might even be able to see Kira over there now. Yes, you can. But before I do that, and before I end off the episode, I think we should go make a nice quick return to old Samos the Sage. Just because I haven't talked to him in quite a while. And by that I mean the very last episode. But hey, he, he, he's funny, right? Let's go see what he has to say now that we've helped him out at the Precursor base. Well, I hope you packed a lunch. Because we're just getting started. According to the Blue Sage's notes, lurkers have infested the swamp across the bay. Apparently, they're planning to use a dirigible to lift an important precursor artifact from the buck. You're going to have to get over there to dislodge their tethers. Who knows what they might want with the artifact, but like orange stuff here's breath, it just can't be good. Okay, Samos. I got it. Go to the swamp and stop the lurkers. Oh, that's not the swamp. Go to the swamp and stop the lurkers. Again. But with that, guys, we now have our objectives. And like a, any good old adventurer, we are going to completely ignore the old man mentor and go to this place instead, the Lost Precursor City. So this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time, everybody. Bye-bye.